okay, hopefully I've got this thing figured out enough so it'll work. A couple of days ago, I tried to shoot some information on the ground seat. I'm not trying to put together a video on every step and making a saddle, but there's just a couple of things I wanted to point out. And as far as the ground seat goes, this was the one one piece I really wanted to make. And of the three uh, short videos that I thought I filmed to myself the other day, this is the only one that wouldn't process for some reason. Hopefully now if my oldest daughter can hold the camera still long enough, then I'll be able to get this done. And I spent half an hour trying to figure out how I could get me and the saddle seat in the same frame, and that ain't gonna happen. So we're gonna just try it just like this. Now as far as all the different um, aspects of making a handmade saddle, the one that's the most interesting to me is shaping the ground seat. Some saddles have a 10 strainer under the ground seat, part of the ground seat, this one does. Uh, some saddles have an all leather ground seat. And with this one, you got the 10 strainer leather on top, uh, on the bottom of that. And then you've got a smaller piece of leather that's roughly about this big from the neck, heavy leather, and then this other piece right here that you can see, and you'll notice I've also got the cantle filler in here. This is my, you don't see this because your regular seat cover is going to go on over top of this, but like I said before, this is the most interesting part of um, building a saddle for me personally. Now every everybody's got different different needs and different wants. The person that I'm making this saddle for wanted a deep seat. He wanted a fairly high cantle, and he wanted to be able to get a good grip underneath the swells right here. This is what you call a low moose tree. This style of tree right here. Uh, what do you want with the seat on a custom saddle is something that you, you're not going to get on a, a production saddle or um, you know the mass produced saddles that you see at any um, feed store or in you know, a bunch of your magazines. Um, you, you're just not going to get a well made seat in there. This takes a certain amount of time to do this and the person is incredibly slow like I am doing everything on Indian time there's no way that a company is going to pay you to do this. Um, I think one of the things that I pointed out in the video that didn't work is that one of the saddles that I have that I got from a, it's a production saddle used I got it at a pawn shop um, I got it for starting colts because I get a lot of uh, spoiled and um, a lot of abused horses, rescued horses and that that people want me to work with. You know, they go to a sale, they see nobody's bitten on this horse and they think, boy, I can get this horse for a song and then when they get it home then they find out how come um, nobody else was bitten on it. And right now, you know, the slaughterhouses are all closed down. So unless a person wants to just turn the horse out somewhere, or sell it to some other sucker, then they're stuck with it. Somebody's rescue horses or abused horses turn out okay, some of them don't. For myself, I figure if you start with junk, that's what you're going to have, and if you want a decent horse, then you go to a reputable breeder and you buy a decent horse and you pay for a decent horse. But uh, anyway, this here is supposed to be about the ground seat. Uh, right up here in the middle here, you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of a, a hump in there. It's got to fit the human body and you've got those two bones in your butt. If you ever ever held a skinny kid in your lap for any length of time, you know exactly the two bones I'm talking about. 
you want it to be level, you can't have this one a little bit higher, this one a little bit higher, because that's going to be painful after just a short while. And in between those two points, you need, like I said, a little bit of curve. This can be a real slow curve, and then when you get just past where those butt bones sit, then it's going to drop down a lot quicker. And then um, i got to adjust my daughter's hands here a little bit. Okay. So this here is important, and it can't fall off faster here than it does on here, because there's no way that you can sit properly in that saddle if you do. And then you also need to have, I guess, say it'd be like an hourglass shape if you're looking straight down on it. Okay, so you put, like I said, a couple of pieces of heavy leather on top of here, and then you start skiving it, you start taking this out. So now you want this is where the legs are going to fall off, and so you're going to want, you know, a shape like that. And because of the, the individual that I'm making this saddle for, what I did was I set it back here. I got a pretty good slope right here. I want him to be able to move around in here, but at the same time, I want the seat to push him back into this pocket right here where he's going to be sitting. So I want this here to be the, you know, the natural place for him to for him to be in here, and then I cut away a little bit of extra right here, and I'll sky this down some more so that he's got a lot of grip underneath here. Okay, and then I got it skived out here to get him as close as possible to the horse, and then on the back here. I got a, a deep dish, as deep as I could get this, um, the cantle on this handmade tree cut out. And well, it's really hard to get good help these days. Um, but then when I put, even though this is a relatively thin piece of leather on here, you know, when you put a piece of leather on here, you're going to take away some of that dish, and so then you've got a sky of cut this out and he's going to have a, a pencil roll. The cantle back was trimmed like I wanted the cantle filler. This piece here, you know, you can see it hasn't been trimmed yet. But he's going to have about an inch, um, an inch uh, pencil roll and this is going to be covered with rawhide, the cantle binding way later. But this is one of the things that um, 